Welcome everyone to this message today. I'm really thrilled that you have taken up God's invitation to watch this message because it is specifically for you uh, and it speaks of God's love and compassion towards you and the things that we carry uh, day uh, to day. Jesus said to them, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Now I find that verse really quite confusing when I first started reading it, thinking to myself, well you're still talking about a burden, Jesus, you're talking about how your burden is light, and I didn't understand that fully, until he reminded me of some of the other things that I have in my life, where some things are an extreme and hard burden to carry, where others seem not so. I was reminded of when I used to be a sales rep and I did long hours and I did many kilometres and I was always trying to please a boss or a corporation that just couldn't be pleased. My sales figures were never good enough. I wasn't doing enough shelf work. I wasn't visiting my customers regularly enough. I wasn't doing enough calls or enough miles. It seemed to go on and on and the stress is high. And the difficulties were always there to try and please someone who just couldn't be pleased. I'm sure you know what that's like, that there are things in your life that may be uh, like that. But then there were other times I used to be a musician for nearly 19 years. I was a semi-professional musician playing in pubs and clubs around Dunedin and Otago. Often the hours that I spent uh, were longer, the work was harder. Uh, I certainly put um, a lot more physical uh, effort into playing night after night after night. And yet the incredible thing was I felt no burden. It was a joy to do it, it was exciting to be there, it was a real thrill, even though it was physically and mentally more demanding. But there was something that just made it so much more worthwhile. And there are many things in our lives that are just like that. There are times as a parent where I've carried the burden uh, for my children as they grew, hoping they would do well, wanting to protect them and keep them from the ills of life that I knew about. But we know that sometimes we have to scrape our knees or bruise our shin to learn from the lessons of life. But the burden of a parent is still there. And then I think of my marriage. And there are times when it was difficult. All marriages are. That's how we grow and develop and learn. But for the most part, it's not hard to love Anna. It's not a burden. It's not difficult. It's a joy and it's an excitement. It's not because we have a perfect marriage, but we have a marriage that is based on trust and intimacy, a marriage that's based on forgiveness and not second guessing each other and looking for some subtext that's not there. Our relationship is open and honest and free. It's freely given and it's freely received. And I don't know about you, but there's a deep longing in me for a relationship that is secure and loving and trustworthy. A relationship where I can be myself. A relationship where I can give freely of my love and receive that love in return. And I don't know what you know of God. I don't know what you've heard of him. Or what others have said. But I can certainly assure you from my own experience that when you discover the God who loves you so passionately that he sent his one and only son through the love letter that he wrote to his kids, that love letter we call the Bible, 
you will discover this God who loves you intimately. Let's read Jeremiah 29 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. And James 1 verse 17 says, Every good thing given and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father. And finally in Matthew 7, 11, As I consider myself as a parent, if you then, being evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father who is in heaven give what is good to those who ask him? And so I'm trusting that you have heard there is a God who loves you intimately, a God who is full of forgiveness, a God who wishes to meet you at your point of need, a God who wishes to take those burdens off you and to allow you to live in the freedom and the honesty and the openness and the truth that he desired from the beginning of time, from before he knitted you together in your mother's womb. He had a plan and a purpose for you. If this is a God that you would like to meet, then pray this prayer with me. Jesus, I feel you nudging me today. You have my attention. I want to know you and I accept your invitation to meet with me. I want to know you are the Son of God. Reveal that to me. I'm sorry for the things I've done wrong, and I thank you that you remove those burdens from me. Thank you, Jesus. Come into my heart today and be my first love. Amen. Thank you for taking God's invitation, his nudging and his drawing you to this message today. Know that if you have prayed that prayer, he will come into your life and he will remove those burdens. Life will not be a bed of roses and bouncing through a flowery field. But you will know the presence of the God who will walk with you in all those troubles. Who will walk with you in all those times that you need support and a hand up. He loves you desperately. And so may his blessings and his love and his favour be on you and your household this day and forever. Amen.